Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School, the sky is our limit. Our dear learners, this is teacher Proskovia once again. I'm going to take you through a reading lesson, lesson two. But before we go to that second lesson, we are going to first do correction for the previous lesson. Remember I left you with this activity. Number one was join the sounds to make words. Remember we learned this syllable and we said this is syllable ski. This is sound mm. ski. Mm. So we shall get the word skin. Ski. Ski. So we shall get the word skip. Ski. Ski. So the word is skill. This is number one. We go to number two. Number two says make sentences using these words. The first word is sky. You can say the sun is up in the sky. But don't forget to begin with a capital letter and you end with a full stop at the end. B, we have the word scat. You can say Sarah. Remember the name Sarah should begin with capital S. Sarah has a scat. You end with a full stop. Then C, we have the word skin. You say, I use the skin for feeling. Or you can say, this is my skin. Number three, we have read and draw. You are, here you're supposed to draw a mask. And B, you draw a Scott. So if you got all the numbers correct, that is wonderful. Clap for yourself. My dear learners, after doing the corrections, now we are going to learn a new lesson. And in this lesson, I expect you to read the words with the sound which we are going to learn. At the end of this lesson, I also expect you to give the meaning of the learned words and you'll be also be able to use them in the sentences. Today, we are going to learn sound. We are going to learn sound. But before we learn that sound, I'm going to give you a short story. Can you listen to my story? Once upon a time, there lived Mrs. Kamanzi. Mrs. Kamanzi had two children. One was Elijah and another one was Cash. Elijah was two years old and Cash was two months old. One day, Elijah started crying, and Mrs. Kamanzi started breastfeeding Cash. After, when, when Mrs. Kamanzi was breastfeeding Cash, Cash fell asleep. Mrs. Kamanzi took Cash to the bedroom to rest. As Cash was resting, 
Elijah followed him. He went to the bedroom and he had kept his toys in the bedroom. Elijah started playing with the toys, making a lot of noise. Mrs. Kamanzi was in the kitchen and heard noise. She went to the bedroom and found Elijah playing with the toys, making a lot of noise. And she did like this. Meaning, keep quiet. Baby is sleeping. So children, today we are going to learn sound. Shh. Can you repeat after me? Shh. Wonderful. Now, we are going to write together the sound in air. Using a finger in air. Can we write together? Again. Wonderful. That is sound. Shh. So today we are going to look at that sound. Remember, in our previous lesson, we looked at this sound. We said that these two consonants, when you put them together, they produce two different sounds. Those are two different sounds. But now, this one, there are two consonants producing a single sound. So now we are going to look at words with sound. Words with sound. You're going to repeat after me. This is sound A. Sound A. And this is L. Sh. A. L. So the word is shell. Sh. This is A. Remember we said that this vowel has two sounds. It can be a, uh, and it can also be u. Now this time, it is a. Uh. So this is a. Uh. Can you repeat after me? A. Uh. Then this is t. Sh. A. Uh, t. So the word is shut. Another word to mean shut is to close. We also have another word. This is ka. K a. Ka. And our sound is sh. So the word is cash. When I say cash, I mean money. This is cash. We move on. This is u, u, bu, bu. As I told you before, that this vowel has two names. It can be a, or it can be u. And in this case, it is u. That's why we say boo, boo. And this is sh, boo, sh. So the word is bush. Our sound, good. Sh, sh. 
O. O. Then this is shop. Mommy always gives you money and tells you, go to the shop and buy sugar and buy salt. So we buy things from the shop. Can you read for me our sound? Good. Shh. Now. This is another sound. Who can tell me this sound? Wonderful. This is sound E. Sound E. So this is E. And this is sound Shh. E. And when you're reading this word, you prolong. Cause these two vowels prolong. E. So now we are going to read the word. Read after teacher. Sheep. Again. Sheep. And this is how a sheep looks. This is how a sheep it is a domestic animal. We go to the next word. This is sound and this is l. This is sound a. A. So this is sla. Sla. And sound sh. Slash. Slash. Sound good. Sound. Sound. This is e. Sound e. So this is syllable d. Syllable d. And this is sound sh. D. Sh. D. Sh. So the word is dish. Teacher has a dish. After seeing the dish, we move on to the next word. This is sound, sound, and this is oo. Now, in this case, it is working as oo, not a, ah, as we saw in the word shut. So this is oo. So this is poo, and this is sound. Wonderful. You have now mastered the sound. Push, push, push. This is sound good. Ah, wonderful. And this is sh. Ah, sh. Ah, sh. Ash. When mom is cooking food, there is some substance which falls down in the charcoal stove. And it looks like this. Ash. So this is ash. Sh. This is sound good. Oh. So this is show, and this is don't forget our action. So the word is shock, show, shock. When you're at home, don't play with the electric wires. Electricity will shock you. So this is the word shock. We also have this word. Read it for me this time. Good. Shh. Then this sound. Wonderful. E. And this is good. So the word is ship. 
Now, I want you to read for me these two words. This one and this one. You have really done it. This is sheep. And this is sheep. Good. So now, children, we are going to read the words with the teacher. You're going to repeat after me. Shell. Shut. Cash. Bush. Shop. Sheep. Slash. Dish, push, ash, shock, sheep. I want you to get the difference between this one, when you're reading this one, with double E, it prolongs. And this one doesn't prolong. Now, after learning the words, I'm going to leave you with an activity. And you are going to form for me words with the sound Shh, from this puzzle. Teacher has written, has given you an example. I have got the word cash from my puzzle, as you can see. So now I want you to get more words from this puzzle with the sound. Shh. Thank you very much, my dear learners. We still need you alive. Stay home. Don't move. And follow the guidelines given to us by the Ministry of Health. Till next time, bye-bye.